uh, Cy Oracle and Miguel Lido. Uh, he made a nice little run there. Here we go, over on to winner semis here on PS2. All right, charging up uh, for it. Atlas gonna get the dash attack already started here into the falling there. Um, you know, Mithra can be pretty oppressive here. Um, the nice thing too is that Pyra's got that nice range, can kind of camp out Samus. Re reminds me a little bit of, of, of Marth and Samus matchup in melee. It's, it's quite interesting. But Atlas gonna continue to apply that pressure and Requiem having a hard time. He is not gonna be letting up here. Uh, the more space that he gives Requiem, the better. Uh, Samus definitely wants that long to mid range. Uh, gonna look for the Falling's there. Gets that turnaround grab and uh, gonna take a step back. Feels it out with the uh, jab instead and just working through shield on blazing in. Now the big thing is the Power Mithra don't have great out of shield options. So if you can really chase him down, it's a big deal. But the big forward smash pushing right on through uh, that uh, falling back air here. All right, works it on through. And gets him up for the down throw here. Atlas trying to get the chase, gets him off the up air. And only a 10%. Holy goodness, uh, Requiem definitely got a little bit of a uh, hill to climb right here. All right, got the dash attack just a little bit. Lays for the down B here, trying to get for that ledge guarding. Smart for Atlas, go for that jump right there. Sam is definitely gonna look for that grounded option. Uh, tosses the dash attack, goes for the cross up there. Picks up uh, that jump there with the up B. Nice stuff, Requiem fitting in as much as he possibly can here. Atlas definitely still very smothering though. There's a the double dash attack. Gonna tether grab it on and hop, tried to hop over, but that down air covers so many options right there. Goes for the medium blast, clanks it out. Misses the grab, gotta take the promise roll to the face. And Atlas here, uh, only at 79%, my goodness. Definitely a little bit of a tough matchup. Gonna roll on through, lays out fair, but Prominence Revolt. Gonna push off again there out of shield. Got him at 118. Got to lay out blazing in, still not quite able to get it here. Shield it on through, hop right over, looking for the up tilt, trying to cover that approach on in. Um, at that percent, there's not really, Pyra's not gonna get anything off that up tilt there, um, but most anything else is gonna be killing it at 144. You slightly touch, how you're gonna be getting it. And he gets a dash tag, gonna go for the grab. We'll probably see forward throw. Yeah, once that stage advantage and blazing in for the ledge coverage, waiting out those invincibility frames, very smart, and gonna get the kill off of it too. You see Atlas, man, just so calm, man. Wow, nice coverage there, and Requiem gonna get the close up shot. Alice gonna take a moment to stretch right here. Hoogie, where are you at, man? What happened? Thought you were gonna be here, dude. I right, falls on through, goes for it, and gets the uh, medium charge, lays out down B. The biggest thing for Requiem is if he can keep Atlas out, he'll be okay, but that's the problem. He can't keep him out. Uh, that pressure is super duper on. All right, laid out for uh, the down B here and uh, picked up by the down air, though. He's trying to get that space, but he just can't get it. Love the tether cancel. Tried to get it going with the down air, though. Really wants to bring it back. And he actually whipped the punish right there. He had him off the roll, just wasn't quite able to do it. All right, lays out back air here, charges it up again. Side B, not going to quite connect. Reaches over with the Zare, though, covering uh, that below platform option here. He's starting to kind of feel things out a little bit better here. Uh, done a much better job this stock in keeping them out. And there's the uh, down B, just waited it out. Nice footsie play right there into the charge, same as blast. Still not gonna quite kill though. Lays out the down B, covered the grounded option. Beat him out of the grab just a little bit, but a little bit too aggressive um, off of that fair there. And he can't tether recover against Blazing End. The ultimate edge guard. But yeah, hanging on ledge two is just so rough, man. That pressure is absolutely insane. Going for the blast, but the sweeping down here. Gonna do it in Atlas taking game number one. Yeah, dude, Atlas really has become, he's, he's really like, he's really coming to his own here lately, man. I mean, he's been doing well on Wi-Fi and, and it, it shows here uh, in this IRL today. He's, he's absolutely killing it. Like, absolutely. I, I really gotta give him credit. He's, he's constantly placing top eight in most things he plays in. Thank you. All right, looks like uh, Chino going to take it over Rincario. 2-1 here. Uh, but Rincario got that chance for that loser's run. Let's go. All right, and here we go. Back on over to... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The the fateful Lilat replacement. Uh, Northern Cavern here. Great stuff. Lays him for the down B here. Gets the down throw. The controversial pick of the tournament. And uh, gets a down B for the ledge guard. Rolls right into that, man. 
Alice definitely got to be a little bit smarter. And wow, one. 108 already uh, for all of the uh, mistechs and reads off that ledge here. All right, we're just going to charge up up. Got big mileage off of it. Atlas jumping from ledge, definitely going to be the way to go, but picks up that photon edge. Great stuff from Requiem. Certainly bringing it back here and definitely uh, was downloading a lot of information in that last match here. Seems like Atlas really wants to keep that pressure on, but um, as long as Requiem kind of stays a little bit more astute, continues to zone out stronger and keep Atlas out, he's going to be just fine. But using that platform has been really, really great for him. And you see him work through a uh, shield a little bit off that fair. He's not trying to win it out. He's just going to flow back and stay non-committal right there and misses the tech though. Going to be carried a little bit, looking for the lightning buster though. Requiem got him off stage. There's that down B. Look for the down air conversion. Atlas smartly going to work it on out here. Air dodge, definitely the best way to go, but there's that down B, rolls on through, knew the back air. I was gonna come down. I call that the Requiem special, the down, the down B into the back air. And uh, charging on through, hops over, but Atlas gonna pick him up uh, with that nice up air. All right, gets the falling there, continuing the pressure here. Nice payback though from Requiem, wow. He, he, saw, he saw the pressure right there. Say, hey, I can kind of fit this in off stage. Let me put in some damage. Let me try to uh, continue to have uh, this really, really uh, great advantage back on through. Picks up the back airs here. Plays out for down B. Gets the charge shot. And uh, nice stuff there from Requiem. We're really pulling ahead here. Yeah, wow. Really, really pulling ahead right here. All right, going for the down air carry. Not able to quite get it, though. Alice going to go for dash attacks right here. Keeping the pressure on. And uh, that falling nair has really, really helped him get out some of those sticky situations. But Requiem's definitely playing the footsies, forcing that spot dodge right there. Nice stuff, and gets him with the up tilt here. Lays out for the down B, picks him up with it. What a down air, only going to get the sour spot. Try to extend it with the power missile, but using that down B. Oh no! A little bit of a misinput there, and Atlas really not feeling it that game. You could tell. He definitely felt smothered. Wow. Anyone finna hyper bulk this summer? Maybe. Yeah, dude, Atlas is honestly, he's a great player. He really is. Northern Cave is a great stage. Thank you. It, it, it's the best stage. It, it's kind of funny, though. I've had a lot of people be like, oh, Northern Cave, like, oh, and Kalos. But I'd rather offer, like, as much stage options as I can. We did move to three uh, three band for the tournament instead of two band. So I feel like if Kalos is an issue, uh, you can always just ban those two. So. All right, so uh, over in the bra other side of loser's bracket, uh, the folks are catching up for Pool B. All right, here we go, game three. All right, getting started here with the up tilt here. Going to chase it out. Goes for the charge shot here, and there is that down throw. Pressure from the Nair, and a good stuff here. Atlas with the Lightning Buster conversion as well. That tether recovery actually putting it in a bad disadvantage right there. Trying to make a little bit of a mind game play, but Atlas all over it. A little bit of a miss photon edge. Trying to get the grab off of the, uh, and not able to do it. Blazing in really smart right there. And uh, looking for the down air here. It seems like Requiem has a much easier time dealing with uh, Mithra, but that Pyra has been pretty tough for him the entire time. Yeah, wow, missed the up smash. What a drift back from Atlas right there. Worked his way out, great SDI, and good stuff from Requiem, working it off. I love the jab, step back into dash tag. Lays it down B though, continue pressure off of it. Looking for the charge shot here, trying to roll on through. Oh no, what a call out there. He saw that charge forward smash. He said, you know what, let's do it, man. Let's see if this back air is gonna work it. Wow. All right, laying out medium shot. Takes a step to back right here. And you know, for Alice, I don't think he's gonna be able to camp him out. I really don't. Um, you know, he's going to have to approach. And I think Requiem now has him playing his game. And I think that's the most important thing. Atlas going to go ahead and get it going here. Laid out for the Nair into the up tilt. Push back with back here. Went for the falling shot there. But uh, blazing in a little bit too quick for him. You know, at, at that point, it's, it's better for blazing in to be out early. Requiem can work through. He's a little bit floaty. So as it sits there, he, he's got plenty of time to go. All right, went uh, through the stage there, and uh, nice stuff. I love his workaround of the platform there. That would be a really, really smart decision. Goes for the tether cancel, drifts on back there. Try to get Atlas over to commit. Calls him out to the platform, uh, and that Nair going to close it out. Atlas just going to shield on through, man. He, he don't mind. He don't mind. Goes for the charge shot. Wow, nice foresight follow-up here. I almost felt like Atlas was fishing for that. Like, he really, really has it. 
Dude, he really is, Daze. He really is. Going for a secret missile here. Calling out the uh, aerial purchase here. Alice able to work it through. But, oh, the will be just a little bit too fast. Uh, I had to get a Ragnus to remind me how fast that move is. Frame two, frame three. It's crazy fast. Uh, there's that tether canceled. Going to try to return to mid stage. Alice starting to uh, bring back these percentages here. It is starting to climb in. Uh, calls out for the fair. Look for the nair off of it. Great stuff to Alice uh, with the applied pressure here. Requiem laying out with the back um, air. But the upbeat continuing uh, to get some big time dividends here. Went for the falling nair for that first hit though. Atlas going to smartly shield it through. Atlas is very grab heavy. And for the most part, it really he really gets away with it. I, I got to say. And uh, Requiem going to finally reach on through. Closing out that stock here. But uh, not a giant lead right here. Definitely Pyra. Easy to bring it on back. I right, hops over. There's Blazing in, though. Alice taking a step back. There's the Blazing in. Good stuff here. Got him caught on the ledge here. Try to call him out. And going to return back to that neutral. Gets for the downer. But the conversion off of that down throw. That mid-charge shot can be so dangerous. But overcommitted off the fair. Atlas staying astute. And going to get that down here. And here we go on the last stocks here on game three. Everything on the line here for the winner's finals. Going up for that charge shot here. Working off those footsies, lays out the down B. Gonna clank it out with forward tilt here. Calling out these up airs, though. You can see it in both of these players' faces. They are feeling the pressure right here. Goes for the low recovery, lays out down B. That's not optimal. And goes for the up tilt, catches him again. Alice trying to return to the stage here. The edge guarding pretty tough right here. But he actually got caught in his own down B um, reset there. And Atlas gonna take him for a little bit of a ride here. Pops the up B, though. Wow, caught him with the low part of that hitbox. Charges him uh, with the medium shot. Calls out the jump there with the back air. Gets him with the dash attack. Atlas hold it on here at 122. Trying to come to stage. Going low for it. But that down be a little bit of trouble. And threw out the jab. Wasn't able to get anything. Almost had him in the close out here. Surprised he didn't push that approach a little bit more. And Atlas going to be sticking with Mithra here. Rolls on through. Rec Room trying to get that final punish. Lays out for the back air though. Atlas looking for it. Oh no! Overreach! And the back air going to do it. And Rec Room going to be moving right on through two winners finals and next up guys we got shadow pr and chino about to come do their thing on stream what a close match though wow